almost made it through guys. It's almost been a full week without Seth home. And I honestly feel like the first couple of days really tested me because day one that he was away, somehow Bellamy got a hold of scissors and chopped his hair off. Thank goodness it wasn't too terrible to where I had to go and get him a haircut, but it still looks a little silly. And then the next two days, Archie decided to dig the biggest hole and got filthy. So I had to wash him two days in a row and I had to drag dirt from the back of the yard up the hill to the front of the yard twice. So I definitely got my workout in for the week. Pretty much every day that Seth has been gone, I've been trying to tackle things in the house that needs to be done. That way I'm just kind of keeping my mind busy. Day one, I actually cleaned the carpets upstairs, all the kids' bedrooms and the hallway and the stairs, all of that got cleaned. The next day I tackled our laundry room because it was a hot mess. Like things just start getting thrown in there because we don't have like a ton of storage in this house. So that kind of ended up being like our catch all. Next day, I took apart the kitchen table and cleaned it really good, cleaned the rug under there and the rug in the living room. I also cleaned the couch cushions again because kids. And I think that's pretty much all I've done so far. And it's been a lot. Oh, we also took the kids sunflowers and planted those in the backyard. And I also filled in some holes in the yard, like some patchy spots in the grass. So my goal today is to either go to Walmart or Lowe's and get some grass seeds and try to sprinkle that on the yard because I think it's gonna rain for the next two days, which might be a good thing, might be a bad thing. I'm not really sure. I know new grass seeds need a ton of water, but also like if it's pouring rain, it might wash it all away. So I don't know, but either way, I wanna try and get some grass seeds out there and hopefully have some little baby sprouts of grass whenever Seth comes home. I think that would be really exciting. I don't know. <laughs> well, I'm really getting excited over grass. <laughs> Anyways, I am trying to get ready for today because I'm gonna have my niece and my nephew for the day. And then of course, like I said, I need to run a couple errands and go get some grass seeds, maybe a few other things from Walmart. But I wanna show you guys something. This is my skincare drawer, okay? And it's all like a bunch of random things. I recently ran out of all of my other skincare. So like my face wash and serums and moisturizers, I had zero. And I was getting ready to go purchase some more skincare when this company reached out to me and wanted to send me some things. And I was like, heck yeah. So I got this in the mail. This is from La Roche Posay. I guess that's how you say it, I don't know. But they sent me a whole bunch of goodies. I'm excited to try it out. I'm gonna use it today. See that there's some SPF stuff in there. So I'm gonna try it out and share my first impressions with you guys. face wash so far so good i like to use a toner after washing my face so i need to look on their website and see if they actually have a toner but for now i'm just going to use one that i already own go in and tone before i put on my serums and moisturizer and sunscreen i also use toner on my neck Okay, now I'm gonna use the Mella B3 Serum. This is a dark spot corrector. I get dark spots very bad, especially around that time of the month. Any little breakout that I get, even if I don't mess with it, whenever it goes away, it just leaves a mark. So we're gonna test this out. Ooh, it's so pretty. I don't know why I was not expecting it to be pink. Skincare moment. 
I used to struggle so bad with my skin as a teenager. I know a lot of teenagers do, but it was awful. Sometimes I even look back at my photos of when I was pregnant with Kai or like right after having him and my face was so broken out. It was terrible. All in my cheeks, my chin, my forehead. I just had like dark spots everywhere. And I was always so insecure. And now we're gonna use this Melt-In Milk Sunscreen. I know I'm gonna be outside quite a bit today, so I'm definitely gonna put some of this on. Oh my gosh, Bellamy. <laughs> I might have used too much. All right, I think I'm done. I'm not even gonna attempt to do my hair today because I just know that I'm gonna be outside working on the grass and the kids are gonna be out there playing. I'm gonna get all nasty and sweaty and probably have to take a shower midday, so we're not gonna worry about the hair today. Get out here. We are just gonna put on a hat and call it a day. And that's gonna be it. <laughs> on my phone because I misplaced my camera and we're all just getting ready for bed right now. I'm about to get all the kids to brush their teeth. Well, they're actually going to get their last snack, then brush their teeth, and we're going to find a movie to watch. This is the first time that my nephew is staying at my house, so fingers crossed that he does good because I'm a little worried. <laughs> the day guys today's the day that I go and take my real estate exam and I am so nervous I've been up since 5 a.m. I got myself dressed and ready I'm getting ready to make some breakfast for the kids Seth has been gone all week and he's usually the one who makes biscuits so I haven't made any since he's been gone so I'm gonna attempt to make them today I know how to make them it's just he makes them way better for some reason but we're gonna make some biscuits and try to have everything prepped and ready for when my mom gets here she's gonna come over and help with the kids while I go and take the test I have about three and a half hours to finish the test and I think there's like 120 questions I'm gonna try my best to get there a little bit early so I could do a little bit more studying before I have to go in and take the test but anyways let's get started on these biscuits exam and I freaking passed. I passed. Oh my gosh. I literally was so nervous in there and truthfully I thought I failed because the test was nothing like what I had studied. I maybe had 10 questions out of a hundred and something that I definitely knew the answer to. Sorry about this clear. I don't know how but I managed to pass. <laughs> I'm so excited. Next up, interview brokerages. 